Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. I buy a lot of stuff through Amazon.com. The number of products I buy each year through Amazon has been steadily increasing over the past six years. In 2010, I bought a grand total of eight items. Five years later, in 2015, I placed 128 orders, many of which contain multiple items. As my purchases began to shift from brick and mortar stores to Amazon, I quickly discovered my favorite part of Amazon.com was the user-submitted reviews. Realizing the reviews were incredibly useful, I began to experiment with sort options in an attempt to minimize the amount of time that I spent reading reviews before ultimately making a purchasing decision. Before November 2015, the average customer review sort option was my go-to weapon in the battle to purchase the absolute best products. The average customer review sort option worked brilliantly for years. However, in November 2015, Amazon broke the average customer review sort option. It's now all but useless, as you can see here. Only the five star reviews that are perfect five stars are at the top, and there's only 10 reviews, but if you just remove the sorting here, and we go to relevance instead, you'll see that there are perfectly reasonable drills here that have four and a half stars and 2,028 reviews. I mean, I, I personally give that much more weight than something that only has 10 reviews because I know that more people have looked at it, right? So the, uh, the statistical significance is higher. So with the average customer review sorting no longer a useful option, how do we find the best products on Amazon in a reasonable amount of time? Well, I've got a system that works pretty well. It's not as good as the old average customer review sort option, and I waste a bit more time finding the information that I need, but it's better than nothing, so I thought I would share it with you. First, enter your search term. In this example, we'll enter LED TV. Go ahead and sort by average customer review, just to see if this is one of those weird search terms where the old sort functionality still works. And you can see that it doesn't, because we get 19 five-star reviews. I mean, that's useless. Second, scroll down on the left-hand side and select four stars and up from the average customer review filter pane. So that's this, this section right here. Four stars and up. Third, copy this snippet. I'll have this down below in the description of the video so that you can copy and paste it to wherever you want. Fourth, Click the URL bar. This highlights the URL. Then, press the right arrow key on your keyboard. This inserts the cursor at the end of the URL. Finally, paste the snippet. Hit Enter. It should be noted that I'm using Google Chrome as my web browser for this example. If you use a different web browser, you may have to modify these instructions for that browser. Now, in this case, because I sorted by average customer review first, that didn't work. So let's, uh, let's restart the search here. We'll go to LED TV. We'll scroll down here to four stars and up. And I will quickly go to the end of the URL and paste my snippet. OK, so this is what we want. That's it. You should see the most reviewed products with four stars or more at the top of the search result listing. At this point, it's always a good idea to dive into the reviews. We'll go ahead and do that. You can, you can click on the reviews for a given product just by clicking on the number and it automatically links us down here to the reviews. Now, always read the recent reviews. Never trust the most helpful reviews blindly. So this, de this defaults to giving you like reviews that were highly rated, right? So what you do is you click on see all reviews. And so now we get like the, the top positive review and the top negative review, right? Those are useful, read those. But more importantly, click the sort by here and click on most recent. If you see a lot of recent one-star reviews citing a de decline in quality, that's a huge red flag. Finally, it's important to consider the quality of the reviews. Often if the product requires skilled installation or skill to use, unskilled users will botch the installation or improperly use the product and write a negative review blaming the product for their ignorance. This is perhaps the most difficult product to purchase because you must decide if you wish to purchase the product despite the negative user reviews. So I, I'm picking on this Xantrex inverter because uh, in my in my quest to find cool products, this is one of the products that falls into this category for me. The number one review up here just describes that high load installations are hard. He talks about how like you have to you have to have all of the right equipment to install this properly and if you don't 
it won't perform properly for you. So you need expensive supporting equipment in order to get the job done properly. I subscribe to Amazon Prime, so most of my purchases include free two-day shipping. There's a link down below in the description for a free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime. I highly recommend it. Hope you found this video interesting or useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I usually reply pretty quickly. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.